My name is Lottie Spady. I'm with East Michigan Environmental Action Council in Detroit, Michigan. And I'm also here in Rio, um, Rio de Janeiro. And I was talking with Naima about the toxic tour that she went on just yesterday. And I couldn't help but draw some parallels to Detroit, especially Southwest Detroit. We have quite an industrial corridor that runs down I-75 freeway and one of the main there's service stall steel which is a you know a steel corporation just like what she was talking about and there's marathon oil uh, um, along with a number of other factories and the problems in that neighborhood are so similar um, identical rather with um, pollutants backing up in residents um, basements coming up through their basements um, the air in their basement being such that they couldn't go down there without their eyes burning, without respiratory problems. Um, Marathon has recently been given, awarded a large amount of money for an expansion to its uh, polluting facilities. Um, one of the things they do is um, emit a lot of toxins into the water. Southwest Detroit is also the home of Detroit's wastewater treatment plant. And the wastewater is being treated except for the things that aren't supposed to be in the water are still finding their way into the water systems of the community at large right around there. Um, it, what really strikes me is how the things that, we, that we're dealing with in Detroit, that as Naima said, it's always located in poor black and brown communities and poor white communities as well these polluting facilities, but that it's global in this way, that corporate interests have so thoroughly um, written off certain communities as collateral damage for their own profit making. And um, I really think it's powerful that we're having these conversations with communities in Rio, with Naima and myself, her being in North Carolina, me being in Detroit, and us really working together to figure out ways that we're going to continue to lift up the voices of the people here and magnify our own voices and um, create some innovative solutions to this and really push back and um, demand that this kind of abuse um, and genocide stop against poor communities.